Jim Cook here for Haxer.io. Today I'll be making a 3D printed Haxer caster guitar to take with me to Autodesk University 2025. The results were awesome, but there was a near disaster right before the show. I made this guitar on a new Prusa Core 1 3D printer, which is a great device, but it did take a little time to get set up and to learn its capabilities. I put more of this yak shaving on my personal Jeremy Cook channel, but the TLDR is that after a quick setup, it's a near perfect printer as long as it's on a solid base. So first things first, I gotta figure out how to get this out of the, out of the box. That looks nice, reprinting handbook, anti-vibration feeds, all good stuff. Filaments. Ah. Yeah, it's got a little hook, right side. There we go. I've got a bunch of filament. I've got some green, extra blue roughly. Not, maybe not quite, but pretty close. Ah, and the black. All right, new filaments loaded, and now I can, um, I can actually start printing, get it all set up, and hopefully I can get this uh, bass part of this guitar going and save that there. And I think if you put it on the side, anyway, we need to set this fill for, to 25% infill. Hmm. This is probably the biggest print I've ever done. This is using, let's see, 223.72 meters of filament or 667.27 grams of filament, but it's gonna be able to get this done in 10 hours. That's pretty awesome. So just a few notes here, I changed it to cubic info fill. So you'd go to print settings, pattern is cubic, 25% uh, fill density. So that's what you need to do too. So with that done, go ahead and I went ahead and slice it and I'll export this G code. Anyway, it's it's a big job, but it seems like the Prusa Core 1 is just kind of doing its thing and I'm not too worried about it. All right, I think it's just about two hours of print time right now. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Print's been going for almost six hours. I'm pretty confident this print will be okay, given given how things have gone. Yep, starting to look like the base of the guitar. So it is the next morning, and on the 3D printer, my thing is done. Oh no, had a bit of a layer shift up here. So that's a bit of a problem. I guess I'll need to figure out what happened there, and uh, I just have to print it again, I guess. That's, uh, that's a little disappointing. Let's see, pull it off. Oh. Supports pulled off nicely, but yeah, bottom looks good. These don't, sides look good. But unfortunately, I don't think this is usable, at least not fully. All right, back to the drawing board, I guess. All right, pencil done, and layer has definitely shifted. It's time a little bit up. Maybe I need to put it in a more solid base and see what happens. All right, so this print's almost done on the more uh, more steady surface and it looks a whole lot better. You know, I was printing this on the fast uh, preset, on the preset slicer. So I may actually print the next one on structural. So this is my second try at doing the whole thing again. It's been running since yesterday evening. It's now, I don't know, somewhere around 10 o'clock in the morning. All right, so this print should be done. I'm gonna walk out there, I'll record my reaction. Yep, looks good. I got a little line here, but it seems to, I don't know if that shifted through the whole thing or not. Pop some of this stuff off. Oh. So I've got the guitar right here. Looks like things align correctly. making good progress on this little piece. Guitar is coming together nicely. This uh, this one right here, a bit of a challenging print as well. Nice blue, I think it's azure blue, azure, azure? Azure blue, but it's pretty close to Haxer blue, so hopefully that'll give a nice theme to the guitar. 46% done right now, so I've just gotta wait. You can see the parts, they go together like this. Yeah, right there. And then we have a complete guitar. So we've got that, and so put a little glue there. Try and make this tangential to the curves. All right, now for the moment of truth. Yep, barely fits in there. Well, now it's time to, now that I've got it glued together, I'm gonna put some of the electronics together. And also, you need to put this in here. You know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and modify that a little bit. Looks, looks pretty decent. Take this off and then put it back on here, so. And then I think this goes like this. That fits on there. And then this goes through here. But this is looking pretty pretty close to complete, so maybe I'll maybe I'll be able to actually play it today. Mm -hmm. 
So I don't know how this is gonna sound, but I'm gonna go ahead and hook my uh, Haxer caster up to an amp and we'll see if it makes any sort of noise. So I've cut the guitar into adjusted so it's playable, if not perfect. So let's see how it works. So what I'm gonna do is cut here and cut here and hopefully we'll have something that looks a little bit more like a, a normal guitar. So it is looking pretty good after some sanding and I'm just gonna finish it off with some teak oil. Try to put some finishing touches on this so it's pretty much done and then knocked it off the table. So <sighs> yeah, I should be able to glue it together and it should be okay. Well, there's a little scar there. Also looks like it knocked off a screw head here. So that's not good. Ugh. As far as the centerpiece, I don't think I have the material or the time to reprint this. So probably take this screw out. All right, so I started printing another green piece, but it's not gonna be done till, let's see, it says 2152, which is uh, almost 10 o'clock here. So I just went ahead and glued the old piece on there. Yeah, back uh, back on track, I guess. So you switch this on, the lights come on. I'm ready to go to Nashville. And it 103 years old, guys. I'm at the factory experience from Abnet. Hard to give away uh, something you worked on so much. Well. All right, so it's come time to uh, hand this over over to uh, Haxer and Abnet. I'm a little bit sad about it, but uh, Amy, here's, here's your guitar. Thank you. We'll take good care of it. Oh, no. All right, all right, <laughs> all right. No, that's awesome. I'm glad it'll go to go to good use. So 